my name is Shane Lishwa and I uh, I work at, I'm a research associate at Loyola University of Chicago. And um, I uh, was an instructor for undergraduate coursework in, uh, in on biodiesel and renewable energy there for a couple of years and I, and I helped set up uh, the biodiesel lab that we have uh, on campus. Just a little bit more background, the biodiesel, the advantages of biodiesel over straight vegetable oil are that you don't need to convert your engine. You can dump this stuff, what comes out of this final uh, tube here, right into any diesel engine and run it without any kind of conversion. So um, that's the advantage. Also, uh, the emissions of, of biodiesel have been fully tested by the EPA, whereas straight vegetable oil has not yet been tested. So it's possible there's higher levels of particulate matter pollution with straight vegetable oil as, as compared to um, to biodiesel. Uh, biodiesel comes from where? This biodiesel comes from uh, waste from vegetable oil, which we dump in here, so from fryers. Right. It's a pre treatment tank. Um, <laughs> and in here, uh, basically, what we do is we separate out, separate out particles like fries, the chunks of fish, or whatever you're frying, and then also water. So, this is a heat band that heats up the oil and forces the separation of the water from the, the oil. And then inside that tank, there's a standpipe. So the standpipe is that there's two bungs at the bottom of the, of the, of the tank. And coming out of one of the bung uh, holes, there's a, a pipe that sticks up about three inches. And so if we draw oil out of the top of that pipe, it's drawing from above the level of water and grime. So then we have purified, dry, anhydrous oil that comes out of this pretreatment tank. We move it over here to our reaction, reaction vessel. And um, in our plumbing, there's a screw-in flange water heater element, you know, a $10 piece that runs on electricity. Uh, so we recirculate the oil to heat it up past that, that um, screw-in water heater element. And then, um, so at that point, the oil's ready to go, you're ready to react. And here uh, is where we mix the other reagents, which are alcohol, uh, we use methanol, and a catalyst, uh, we use a potassium hydroxide or sodium hydroxide, which is over-the-counter Red Devil Lye. Uh, that's mixed up in here, and then at that point, the whole reaction's ready to go, and we just change our plumbing around and recirculate the oil with the methoxide, um, and it, it recirculates for about an hour, and at that point, the glycerin drops out of the biodiesel, and um, we, drop, we drain the glycerin off, and what's remaining is raw biodiesel. And with some, a little small further processing, we wash it with water, um, and then dry it with, uh, with bubbles, then, then you're set to go. And so what my experience, I drive a 86 diesel Mercedes, and in Chicago, I drive on B100 for nine months a year without any, only with a one tank system, just haven't done any modification to my, my vehicle. In the winter months, I cut the diesel or the biodiesel with diesel, and I can go on B20 all year round. I've only clogged up my filter one time, and that's because it was nine degrees Fahrenheit, and I had 100% biodiesel in my in my car. And so this this small scale reactor we developed so that we could take it into high schools for high school education, uh, outreach, and education. Uh, it's a really good way for students to be doing, learning the basic chemistry, basic bio biology and uh, physics that they need to, and also be talking about important real world applications in renewable energy. And introducing them also to potential green job opportunities because this, this kind of renewable energy work is just going to increase in time. So that's one of our angles as well, is we're trying to work with inner city schools in Chicago to introduce some of, uh, you know, people from across the economic spectrum um, to renewable energy.